Hey guys, this is Trip Powell from Coosa Country Club. Uh, today's weekly lesson is going to be um, in tribute to the one club tournament that will be happening tomorrow, uh, October 8th, shotgun start at, uh, at uh, 9 o'clock here at Coosa. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about if I do get to play the choice of club that I would I would pick and and right now I'm leaning towards the 23 degree hybrid um, just because you can hit it uh, you can have a max distance that's further than say most people going with the seven iron and whatnot um, and it's not so difficult to chop down um, show a little half swings here, those roll out to about 50 yards or so, you know, um, on the golf course in the fairway. It's probably going to be a little more, but it was um, not much effort to get it to 50, 100. Um, the roll is definitely more than uh, I thought it would be, so probably error on the side of, you know, hitting it less. But, um, But typically on the par fours, um, say I'm hitting this thing 210 or so, so that gives me 200 on an, off the tee at least on every hole, which makes me be able to reach and to have a pretty full shot on the, uh, on the par fours. And if you play to the par fours, um, you tend to do, to do well in these things because of, you, know, you play more par fours than anything else. Uh, be able to reach all the par threes and the par fives will be, you know, kind of hit and miss. I mean, it just depends on if you can hit lay up to your yardage or not. So um, I know around the green there's a lot of uh, questions, and uh, I'm going to show you some of the uh, some of the tricks that we've found out in the last couple of days. You know, with the hybrid as the uh, as the club to maybe get you around the green a little bit better. Another advantage of the hybrid over the seven or six in the one club is say you're having to clear a bunker or something that you need to pop it up. Well then, if your hybrid has a leading edge on the back, you can flip it over right here. You get the little lob shot. Um, Go as high as you want. Uh, you're obviously not going to want to do it over on a thin line. You obviously want something that you can get the hybrid up under. But you can use the loft of the back of the club to really get the ball in the air and up over the offstand. And if the back of the club doesn't work on the short shots over the bunker, you find yourself in the bunker. It's really just a matter of doing what you normally would do in a bunker, just taking it about a half inch or an inch, two inches behind the ball, kind of opening the club face and just really just you know, popping it out. It's not going to be a great shot, but it's going to get you out of just about any kind of bunker that you can find yourself in. The shorter you need to the shorter shot you need, the more short backswing and follow through you're going to need to do as well. Um, and really just getting it out of the bunk is going to be the key uh, to scoring in the one club tournament. Um, you can flip it around like the last one out of the sand and it does pop out, but be prepared because it will scuff up the back of your hybrid. All right, and just from this perspective, we'll show you what what it is you'll be, what it'll look like when you're down, pointed down at the ball. What what I mean by open club face, especially on the hybrid, is you would turn it to where it's pointing to the right, and obviously you'll correct that, over, counter correct it by pointing instead of going down your target line here, you'll be pointing more to the left you know so it can go out towards the target we'll be playing it about an inch two inches behind depending on the firmness of the sand 
right there. But that's really where you want to go in and just taking that and just popping it out. Really keeping the club face open through to where it's pointed at it so it doesn't close down and maybe hits the lip there. But just really pops out towards the sand. And um, that's about it. Hope you all have fun in the one club and hope this helped. This is Trip Powell. Call me for lessons.